direction we were going, babe? No idea. She doesn't know where we're going. I don't really know where we're going, but we're gonna take a drive. Got my cold bar. This is nice. Oh, you're right, there was a cop out. Yes. Trapping very slowly, trying to trap somebody. For real. Okay, this looks pretty nice though. Yo, 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 guys. So we stopped in Bastrop, right? Yes, Bastrop. And I f found this little, well, the town of Bastrop is a little small and quaint, so um, we pulled over because I saw this building and I felt like, you know what, this could be a good backdrop for a photo. I'm photographing in the absolute worst time of the day, which is like, it's like 1 p.m. right now. Um, so highly don't recommend that. <laughs> but we have plans for later today, so we got to make do with what we have. So this is just a behind the scenes look on how I would photograph in harsh light slash the worst time of day to be photographing. Also, I mean, realistically, you can't always take photos at golden hour. I mean, if you're on vacation, you don't, you're not gonna wait until it's golden hour to start taking some great photos. So this will be good to keep in your back pocket. Real quick, just wanted to say why I chose this location. I felt like it was uh, very rustic looking, I guess. And it just, it it's, to me, it has some character, and so it's an interesting location. Um, also, the sun is, as you can see, there's some shadow, so I can place Davina there. I did bring a reflector, so that way, if I needed to, I can put more light back in, but I'm tr gonna try and see what I can do without having to use the reflector first, because that's just more work for me. So the first thing I'm looking for as I'm scouting for locations in a new area is where the light source is coming from. Since we were photographing in the absolute worst time of the day, um, I definitely needed to take her away from the direct sunlight since it was directly above us. And you can actually see the direction of the light if you look at the light posts on the ground. So I found this building that was blocking the sun and because there was so much light just all around, it was able to reflect onto Davina. Just a quick tip for when you're photographing somebody, make sure to pause and show them the back of the camera, show them the photos that you're taking because this is going to relieve any kind of awkwardness because you know, standing there and posing is a very awkward thing to do, but being able to show them, hey, this is how your photos are looking, it's going to instill confidence in them and it's gonna make them have so much more fun with this. So when I was choosing this location, something that I was looking for is what the background looks like and um, if there are good elements in it. Um, so something that I was looking for for this was color, um, framing, all of that. Um, and it was nice because I was able to get a couple different angles and shots out of just this one seemingly simple location. All right, we are moving to a different location. Um, taking a walk. We are just taking a walk. What are you talking about? Different location. 
Yeah. We're gonna keep walking around, see what this little city has to offer. Ooh, this is nice. Look at this. Do you want some shots right here? What? Some nice and neutral. That's also nice and neutral over there. Are there people in that car? I don't know. Yes. There are? Oh, cool. I just pointed it over there. <laughs> um, also don't want to step in the grass because this is probably like the lawn looks nice, you know? Hello? Oh my God, look at that red, that red J. Let's keep walking. All right. I do, I like that. I like the look at this building though. And because you're wearing something that's very busy, that would be a good background, but the sun is really shining on there. So that's not gonna work. Let's see. Ooh, look at that chair. Yeah. You wanna go sit in the chair? Nope. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice little bush though. Oh. What does that say? Look, see that sign says no trespassing. Yeah. Okay. I kind of like this vibe right here. The sun is literally directly above us, but look at this, look at like this area. I think that might be nice. That sign says no trespassing over there, but it doesn't talk about over here. So I didn't want to break out my reflector, but for this location, because the sun was directly above us, I needed something to kick, be kicking more light back up into her. And really, I say that, but I don't really think that I needed to. But when I was editing the photo, um, I did notice where the reflector kicked up just a little bit of light on her and it just really helped contour her face and like show me where that was, um, as opposed to me just trying to manipulate that and create that in Photoshop. It was, it was more natural since I did it out in the field. So a lot of times when I have a vision for how I want to post a Vina, I am not always good with my words. So I will have to go and put myself in the scene and show her what I'm talking about. I don't know why, but I really liked this old dusty looking chair. Um, I definitely wanted Davina to sit on it, but that was probably not a good idea. Um, so we opted for her to just put a leg on it. Um, and I think it just adds to the overall photo. All right, we are moving on to a different location. Are we going this way or do you want to go that way? Oh, they're not there anymore. Um, so yeah, I use a reflector. Oh, look at all those are, it's pretty. Yeah. Um, oh, what away. I use the reflector because uh, it was a little dark in that area and then there was, I was having to compensate for the light on her face. Um, and so by doing so, I know I can fix it in post, but I wanted to kick up a little bit more light. I don't think it was like in, entirely necessary, but just wanted to do it f just to have the option and just when I'm, edit when I'm editing. Oh, this is a bank? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. It's okay. I like this thing though, this little... <laughs> that thing has a lock on it. <laughs> that's funny. So, yeah, no, we're not going to use that. We're going to, I think we could use this and I can get the red. Oh, awkward. Yeah. Um, do you want to, oh, look over there. <laughs> it's a bank. So, but look right there. Walk. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't want to stay over there because it was an ATM, so people would be coming. <sighs> Probably won't even include that footage. But across over here, we got some nice. What are what type of leaves are these? Banana leaves. Looks like it. Some banana leaves. So this looks nice. This this will be a good background backdrop. Backdrop round. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Y'all, big plants are always a good idea for a backdrop because the branches will be sticking out and depending on the type of lens you're using, um, it can create some really nice bokeh. So highly recommend to get up in some plants. All right, so moving on. Um, our time here is a little limited, but it's nice because we get to see what's in the area. Um, and it's about like 45 minutes from us. So we could also come back when it is more ideal shooting times. Um, Cause while I am able to try and get the most out of the spots that I can get, um, there are some spots that I cannot get because the timing is so bad. Like that barber shop over there, I know it would be a really great spot. Um, and I think the photos that I got are okay, but they could be a lot better if it was the right time. So would like to come back and do that. But we are leaving right now um, because we do have to be somewhere else. Um, so, but it was a nice little we just got a few pictures and what, that took all of like 20 minutes. So you can get great photos wherever you are. Well, that's all for today's video. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And also if you like seeing these behind the scenes videos, as always, please follow me on Instagram at philadcophoto for updates as to when I'm coming out with new videos. You're gonna have to edit out my eyes getting wide to photographing. The worst time of day to be photographing. Oh. You said to not oh. be photographing. Photographing in a place like this. <laughs> Am I in the frame or is my head like cut off? You're good. Okay. It's just dark. Really dark? And weird shadows. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs>